In this video, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to add DevExtreme UI widgets to a page using TypeScript. We'll use the DX button and DX checkbox widgets for this example. I've already created a TypeScript project and added a folder with the DX All, Globalize, and jQuery libraries. In addition, I've added a folder with the DevExtreme TypeScript definitions. Here are the references to the required libraries in the applications page. In addition, I've already added a container for my button. Now let's create the DX button widget within this container. Add a reference to the required TypeScript file with definitions and use a jQuery approach, creating the DX button widget using the DX button plugin. Let's declare the button options variable as the variable of the devexpress.ui.dx button options type. Now I can define a configuration object using this variable. I'll set the text to generate random value. And if we look at the result, you'll see the button works great. All right, let's show a random value on a button click. Assign a click handling function to the on click option of the widget and generate a string consisting of 10 random digits. To display the generated string on the screen, I'll create a P element with the ID attribute set to random value. And set the generated text for it in the onClick function. And let's look at the result. Now I'm going to provide the capability to disable the DX button widget with a checkbox. I'll add a checkbox container element to the HTML document and associate the DX checkbox widget with this element. Just like I did for the DX button, I'll handle the checkbox value changes with the on value changed option. Then, declare a variable of a devexpress.ui.dx button type. To get the DX button instance, call the DX button method for the button element with the instance argument and assign the return value to the button variable. Now, I can change the button state using the option method. And let's take a look at it now. If you check or uncheck the box, it updates the value of the button's disabled option appropriately. And that's it. You can use the TypeScript approach for any widget from the DevExtreme library. For more details on the TypeScript approach, make sure to check out our documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.